Introduced on January 9, 2007, the first-generation iPhone marked the beginning of a new era in personal technology. At the time, most phones were built around small screens, plastic keyboards, and styluses. The iPhone changed that with three simple ideas. A multi-touch display, an iPod, and a real internet communicator, all in one device. It launched at $499 for the 4GB model and $599 for the 8GB version, tied exclusively to AT&T in the United States. It was expensive, but it redefined what a phone could be. This is the story of how the iPhone evolved from a simple touchscreen device to a machine that understands, learns, and connects our entire digital lives. When Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone at Macworld 2007, he announced that Apple was about to reinvent the phone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. The first model featured a 3.5-inch screen, a 2-megapixel camera, and 2G connectivity. There was no app store, no video recording, and no third-party apps. But what it lacked in features, it made up for in vision. In 2008, the iPhone 3G arrived with faster internet, GPS navigation, and most importantly, the App Store. It launched with just 500 apps, but created an entirely new industry almost overnight. A year later, the iPhone 3GS doubled the speed, added video recording, and improved battery life, making it feel more complete. Then came 2010's iPhone 4, an industrial design milestone with a glass and steel body, the first retina display, and a front-facing camera for FaceTime. Priced at $199 on contract, it was praised as the most beautifully engineered phone of its time. But it wasn't flawless. Users discovered the so-called antenna gate issue, where signal strength dropped if held a certain way. Apple's response, offering free cases, showed how carefully the company had to manage public trust. The iPhone 4S in 2011 brought the dual-core A5 chip and Siri, Apple's first step into voice assistance. By 2012, the iPhone 5 introduced a taller 4-inch display, LTE connectivity, and a thinner aluminum body. Apple had now sold over 250 million iPhones globally. The smartphone revolution was in full motion and Apple was leading it. By 2013, Android competition was fierce. Bigger screens, more customization, lower prices. Apple's response was refinement and power. The iPhone 5S debuted with the A7 chip, the world's first 64-bit processor in a smartphone, and introduced Touch ID, a fingerprint scanner built into the home button. Priced at $649, it was paired with the colorful iPhone 5C, a more affordable $549 model made of polycarbonate. In 2014, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus arrived, Apple's first large screen phones with 4.7 and 5.5 inch displays. They added Apple Pay for contactless payments, but also sparked controversy over BendGate, as users reported frames bending under pressure. Despite the criticism, the iPhone 6 series became Apple's best-selling generation ever, with more than 220 million units shipped. 2015's iPhone 6S added 3D Touch, allowing pressure-sensitive interactions, though few developers embraced it. In 2016, the iPhone 7 introduced stereo speakers, water resistance, and the controversial removal of the headphone jack. Apple called it courage, others called it unnecessary. Ironically, the entire industry followed soon after. For the iPhone's 10th anniversary in 2017, This is iPhone 10. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. Apple unveiled the iPhone X. It ditched the home button entirely, introduced an edge-to-edge -edge OLED display, and launched Face ID facial recognition. Starting at $999, it redefined what a premium smartphone meant. In 2018, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR refined the design. The XR, with its balance of price and performance, became the world's best-selling phone in 2019. That same year, the iPhone 11 pushed photography to new heights with its triple camera system, night mode, and deep fusion computational imaging. By the end of the decade, Apple had sold more than 2.2 billion iPhones worldwide. 
The iPhone had evolved beyond a communication tool. It had become a cultural symbol. As the 2000s began, the smartphone market matured. The race shifted from hardware specs to intelligence, how smart, efficient, and predictive a phone could be. The iPhone 12, released in 2020, marked the company's first 5G device. It featured flat edges reminiscent of the iPhone 4, a tougher ceramic shield front, and the A14 Bionic chip built on a 5 nanometer process. It also introduced MagSafe, a magnetic attachment system for chargers and accessories. While some criticized Apple for removing the charging brick from the box, the iPhone 12 went on to sell over 100 million units within months. 2021's iPhone 13 line refined nearly everything – better cameras, longer battery life, and the A15 Bionic chip. The Pro models introduced a 120Hz promotion display, bringing fluidity to Apple's screens for the first time. The iPhone 14 series in 2022 brought a subtle redesign. The Pro model introduced the Dynamic Island, turning the notch into a functional notification hub. The A16 chip and a 48-megapixel camera dramatically improved photo quality. Apple also introduced crash detection and emergency SOS via satellite, features later credited in multiple verified reports with saving lives. The iPhone 15, released in 2023, launched alongside the Apple Vision Pro headset, signaling the dawn of spatial computing. It introduced the A17 Pro chip, the first built on a 3 nanometer process, bringing console-grade gaming to mobile. The titanium frame made it lighter, and the long-standing lightning connector was replaced with USB-C. The iPhone 15 Pro could even record spatial video for playback on the Vision Pro, uniting Apple's ecosystem around immersive media. In 2024, the iPhone 16 marked Apple's official leap into generative AI with Apple Intelligence. Powered by the A18 chip, Siri gained real contextual understanding and could now summarize notifications, write messages, and assist across apps, all while keeping processing private and on-device. Instead of competing on size or megapixels, Apple focused on making intelligence invisible, personal, and secure. Then came the iPhone 17 in 2025. Featuring the A19 Pro chip built on a 2 nanometer process, it offered vast improvements in AI processing and battery efficiency. Apple introduced graphene-enhanced batteries for cooler, longer-lasting performance. Critics argue that the iPhone's design hasn't changed drastically, no foldables, no wild experiments. But perhaps that's the point. The iPhone has matured into a tool that quietly works, adapting to the user rather than the other way around. So, what comes after the iPhone? Apple's Vision Pro gives a glimpse. A world where computing moves beyond the screen, where digital information blends seamlessly into the physical world. But even as that future unfolds, the iPhone remains Apple's most human device. It didn't just change how we use technology, it changed how we live with it. This is the history of the iPhone, a story still being written.